Hello there, my name is Hasher and welcome to the part 2 of this series where we're learning the basics of Frema and how to get started with Frema itself. And in this video, we'll be learning some of the tools that Frema offers you to create the pages that you want to. Now here's what I created using Frema and this is my upcoming portfolio website. And this is what, this is kind of the uh, page that we'll, but that we'll be building in this video as well. So I basically just have a welcome uh, address or a welcome text with my photo on it and a bunch of folders which inside in, in and inside of these folders I'll be storing my actual content now if you know how to build this kind of uh, page you'll be actually able to build any kind of um, pages and you'll know why in a second all right so let's get started with the first thing now on the top here we're seeing that okay well it's asking me to enter the title of this page now before i proceed i want to make this really clear that you can make use of frame on both a desktop computer or on the mobile device the experience of the frame the frame editor itself is very similar on both these devices it's just that okay well apart from the, the screen size itself, well, instead of the mouse, you'll be using your fingers. And instead of, well, as it appears, as I hover onto these buttons, on the mobile devices, you will need to tap onto these buttons to actually display all of these controls. Just so you guys know. Now, as soon as you tap on these buttons on a mobile device, you will see it on a full screen, but basically the procedure is absolutely, absolutely the same thing. So. Just this is what you see I'm doing on, on with, with my mouse. It's the same thing that you can accomplish with your fingers. I just want to put it out there. All right. So the first thing you'll need to do is to enter the title of your well, your website, your portfolio, or whatever it is. Now in this video, I'm creating a portfolio where I'll not be just showing my uh, my works, which as we discussed in the previous video, we'll also need to tell about a little bit about ourselves and what we believe in and our process and some of the things that we can offer to the people who are visiting or visiting our website. So, well, let's get started with the first thing. I can call this very simply home, which is too boring, or I can just call my name Hasha there. Now, that's also too boring. Now, one of the things you can do is basically there are three controls, main controls to control your website. Now, don't mind this. Now, this is what, this is what is called an editor interface. Now, this is where, where you'll be making changes and creating your website itself. Now, if you want to know what your actual website is going to look like, click on this play button here. When you click on the play button, now what appears after this play button is actually what the, your visitors will see. Now, all right, so over here you can see uh, that it, uh, it is actually giving me a link that I can use to share with my friends and uh, family. Now I can dismiss this, but I want to just keep this and I want to tell you guys why later on. So if I share this, uh, other people can access this website and as I make changes to my website, they can access the the latest version of the website without me actually having to push any changes to any server or any press any buttons ever. So as I type those articles, those things will be reflected on real time uh, on on my visitors uh, uh, desktop or mobile device. All right. So that's how simple it is to make changes. Now on the top left, as it says here, return to the editor. Now this is the only thing and and this of course these are the two things that are only visible to you as the creator of this page because okay well now you saw the website and you're happy with it or not so happy with it as in this case uh we just typed in our name here and we didn't do anything much so um well i want to go back and make changes now so if you want i'll click on this button here that says return to the editor now i'll go back to my editor and start actually making changes now so, all right, so let's get started with actually adding content. To add any content, go to this middle button here. Now, we have a bunch of elements here. Now, uh, on the top here, it says add images. Now, over here, this is to add folders. Now, uh, okay, so images can be a gallery or a single image. Now, for example, you want to post in photos of some event that you attended or, uh, you know, product showcase or... Uh, you know, different angles of a particular thing that can be used. Uh, this element can be used for that. Now, 
one of the things that we're doing right now is first things we're gonna, we're gonna enter a welcome address now that is primarily a bunch of text with just a single image on top so the main focus is the text on the bottom here now it's not really an article it's just basically a chunk of text all right now um so how can i achieve with these elements now this one is image this one is for adding something like code so you can add html code now this is for adding a uh, a contact form where other people can write emails to you uh or to, yeah so basically they can write you know they can contact you by email and you can also add a youtube video by clicking on this and you can add a text okay it can be t it can be a blog article or just basically uh, content or just bunch of you know heading headings text or something like that or if you want to create a conversation you can you know well talk about let's say what do you think about this latest uh, choice that i have made you can well you can get people who are visiting your websites you can get their opinion on what they're thinking and you can also add links now this will be super helpful for us because let's say for example you want to add links for other people to download uh, my CV or uh, some piece of uh, you know some resource that other people can use I can use that or I can just basically link to other websites as well like link to some of the the Amazon you know page where I can where I bought this particular tool or something like that now this is a folder all right so let's start with the first thing now I want to enter some welcome address right so I'm gonna click on this quotation here now as soon as I click on this it basically creates a card now over on the left I see a bunch of controls that I can do now if I hold except on the main text editing portion here if I touch anywhere here I can actually move this around and reposition these elements in wherever I want to now it's not wherever I want to it's basically a two by two grid so you can if you have two elements like let's say for example I add another one here now since there is no difference here let's to just mark a difference I'm gonna say hello and if I'm gonna mark I'm gonna move this over here the hello uh, the card will come over here right so if I push this back here it will get replaced now, that's just how it works all right so let's get uh, let's move on to this little left thing here now to, to delete an element it, you have to click on this button here um, to move this to any other folder that you just created uh, you can use this button here now we don't have any folder so it will not show us anything all right so um, in this case this is to customize the type of content okay now this is a text element right so I can just make this a bunch of you know I can I can write a bunch of headers here like hello now that's not exactly what we're looking at what we're looking at is a content all right so here's a uh, bunch of cliche text that I wrote as a welcome address so I'm gonna say welcome to my portfolio now again this is also a cliche text but it's okay just for the sake of this text now notice that as soon as I click on this play button here um, which I'm not going to do just yet uh, if I click on the play button all of these changes are reflected in real time and if I share the link to my uh, you know my my portfolio which is which is visible as soon as you click on the play button you can share this on Twitter email whatsapp or whatever else uh, all of these changes are reflected in real time. Now, let's say I don't like this a little white, you know, card-like interface. Now, I can click on this, click on this, play, click on this you know, this paint. Um, uh, I don't know what you call this, but yeah, um, the, the the paint stand or whatever. You, there, there's a name for that, right? So whatever that is called. So click on that button here, and you can basically changing change the, the the appearance of this card to one of these themes now this is to add any specific color pattern this is to add anything like an image background on this card itself now note that this is specifically for this card itself now I want to keep this as really simple I'm gonna say uh, well I'm gonna choose this black thing here and this basically has no background so I'm gonna click on close here to make changes now it looks really bad the reason is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color to be something a little bit on the off white color, probably something on EA EA EA. Um, I'm also make make the text 
the page title as black so it's visible all right so that's going to be to make changes to the entire page itself voila now uh, one of the things that's happening is well the title is not reflecting but i chose the thing is black oh that's a bug but it's but that'll be resolved very soon all right so uh this is a beta version so just be sure that uh, i just want to make this you know clear that some minor bugs are to be expected but these will be resolved all right so this button allows you to also add a custom logo now it doesn't have to be a logo it can also be a photo of yours now uh one of the things i'm going to do is i'm going to upload a logo that i just made a couple of days ago um with this one here and it's an svg uh logo but you can also have you know like a portrait logo of yourself now that can be something like oh well uh you know if it's a perfect square or you know an oval shape not oval shape but circular that will be pretty cool because it's going to be the first thing that some people notice as soon as they enter your website all right so yeah now this is this is what you use to customize the appearance of your page now let's go ahead and start adding more content now the next thing i want to do is i want to add a bunch of articles now of course you don't need, really need to create folders or you know organize these under folders you can you can just add all of them under one section um but well i like to do it this way so um, i'm going to create a folder for this the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call this blog. Now uh, I have a, I I think a lot, and I hope you enjoy the the behind scenes of my projects. Now I know this is again boring text again. So well, it says open, which is not really what uh you know a blog is supposed to do so i'm going to change the the text this thing where it says open to let's say well i'm going to call this read all right so it changes the text to read now you can also add an image on top of this now one of the things i'm going to do is i'm going to change the uh well the appearance if i want to to custom color now i'm going to use the background in something like a bluish maybe but well not too bluish or there and maybe the text color to be white and now that's like that's too flashy but let's see if it works okay that's too flashy okay let's change that to perhaps something like uh, go back to well that blue thing let's choose this one all right so let's stick with this one here for now all right so i'm gonna add an image here so i'm gonna click on this image button here and i'm going to upload an image of mine you can also upload this image to the folder itself now here's a nice portrait photo of mine uh, and then i'm gonna click on confirm selection and it automatically adjusts the height according to the size of your image now one of the things you can also do is well let's say for example um uh if you want to have a section where people can you know get in touch with you as we already discussed you can click on this uh mail section here now what this will do is what this will create a a form here now uh in the coming versions very soon you'll be able to customize the fields that you have over here but every uh, element has a different set of well things that you can customize now over here this by default redirects you know all the form anybody who types on this contact form uh the collection of those emails will go to this email address uh, i can change this email address and you know get all the entries to another email address that i have let's say your business email address whatever so let's say for example i, I want to redirect that to info and not to hasher so it can be something like hey i love emails um would love to know uh, would love to collaborate with you on your next project this is a little bit of a bug well it's not supposed to hover like this okay we, you can also have a custom actual label so things like for example um reach reach me something like that so as soon as you click on that button well you cannot actually access all of the controls 
that uh, Frame offers you on the editor interface. So for example, you cannot email yourself. Now you cannot access this, but when you click on the play button, when you go to the actual website itself, you'll be able to uh, send emails and test the functionality. All right, so um, let's go ahead and now we'll also uh, start actually playing around with uh, the organization. All right, so I can move it like this and I can put this on top and it comes down there, right? So um, let's also do something like, uh, let's go inside this folder here and it says blog here. Okay, well, there's one thing that I missed out here. What's this little bell icon here? Now, it's not the same thing as in YouTube. So uh, this is basically notification. So let's say, for example, somebody tried to communicate with you or interact with you. Let's say you posted something like, what do you think about this project? What do you think about this screen? What do you think about this um, this idea or whatever it is? You want to create a com if you want to create a conversation or even for that contact form section, if somebody tried to actually send you an email, you'll get a notification here as well. Now, in this case, I don't really have, because I'm just creating it right now, nobody has ever attempted to try to you know, create any, like send me anything. So for that reason, it doesn't say me anything. If you wanna go back to the previous page, you can click on this back button here. But let's just say, for example, uh, I wanna know, well, how to create a block. If you, mention, if you remember earlier, this button actually creates by default a block. Now there's a little weird bug here, which if you just refresh this page, it fixes this by itself. Now don't worry about it. It's, it's something that will be fixed in the long term. Now let's go back here and check out, and you know, just preview this page and check, out, uh, check it out. All right, so you can just send this uh, link to anybody and they'll be able to access this website. You can also email this link, Facebook this, or even WhatsApp or Gmail, Twitter, all of this. You can just dismiss this link for now. So basically it's from me slash p slash the username. So this is a, basically the image that I, this is my logo. So over here, people can write an email. So for example, uh, my name is Hasher uh, from uh, me. Uh, hey, and as you can see here, the button is getting this enabled right now. Now, <clears throat> let's go back and say, okay, well, blog. All right, so here is again, uh, my blog, but I have not written anything here. Now over here it says return to the editor. Let's go ahead and add some content to the blog itself. Now we'll be talking about blogs and you know content curation in the next video. For now, well, basically you'll learn how to use Frema itself. Now with these things, if you know how to basically use these elements the same properties or the same rules apply to all the elements here so well you're pretty much almost there with frame already but we're just gonna try some experiments just to show you what are the cool things that you can make with frame itself for now goodbye and happy building